Welcome to the Romania River channel and my playthrough of Homeworld Remaster now. Yeah, we finished off Homeworld Cataclysm last week. Well, last week for you guys. For me, it's been a couple of months. Months. And yeah. This is actually gonna be probably the first time I'm gonna finish Homeworld 2, because I um, never actually finished it in uh, the classic version. Why? Because it fucking sucked. Especially the last mission. And unpatched, Homeworld 2 was a, basically a sliding difficulty scale of fuck you and fuck you in particular. So let us see here. Hopefully it doesn't fuck me in the ass. Hopefully. first time, the great hyperspace core was found. With it came the gift of interstellar travel, and the Outer Rim trade routes were established, uniting the galaxy in peace. thousand years passed before the second core was discovered on a desert planet. You know exactly how. Pain and bloodshed flowed in its wake. But the exiles returned to their homeworld, Higara. A young woman led them across the galaxy, and it is she who will lead them again. Her name is Karen Sajet. This is the story of the end time. We know this because the third core has been found. Under the dark influence of this core, the Taidan have risen under a new leader, a Vagar warrior lord named Makan. He calls himself the Sajukar, the Chosen One. Many systems have already fallen under his shadow, and his eyes are set upon Higara. Deep inside the great derelict at Tanis, construction of a new mothership is underway. The pride of Figara. Once more, the exiles will face the coming darkness. This is Fleet Command. Stand by for hyperspace core transfer. The transition is here. All power signatures in the green. The primary couple is released. Of the game. Trajectory is good. The hyperspace core is away. But it used to be much better than that. It used to be smoother. But not much you can do with an ancient engine, I guess. This is Tannis Control. We have visual contact with the core. Proceed with transfer. Trajectory and alignment confirmed. Take it to 115 and initiate capture procedures. And the music's quite good. They actually had a budget for it this time around. Probably one of the few things that survived the, the transition from the Dust War scripts to this. Version of the storyline. The mother 
ship recognizes the core and confirms signal lock. What would the game have ended if it didn't recognize the signal lock? Fleet command online. Mothership status report. Engineering online. Stand by to initiate engine sequence. Main engines online. Engine test complete. All standard drives are operational. Navigation online. The mothership is standing by. Course deleted. And we are in control. This is fleet intelligence. Our task is to analyze sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before launching the mothership, we must conduct a series of trials to ensure all critical systems are operational. Throughout these trials, the mothership will be running with a minimal crew and will remain docked with Tannis. Once these trials are complete, we will launch the mothership and test the hyperspace core. The first trial will test the resourcing system. A resource collector is standing by. <laughs> Begin retrieval of resources. Resourcing systems fully operational. Trial successful. We will now test the mothership's production capabilities. Okay, I'm just gonna skip production through. underway. The annoying tutorial parts, cause yeah. Foundry, this is floor. How far away? They should have really just made it harsh mothership. for this. More evolved. Think of the StarCraft 1 tutorial where you can basically just go, do you want a tutorial or not? No? Okay, let's skip the story. There's a wee bit of a story bit in the tutorial itself, but it's not something you're really gonna miss if you skip out on it in StarCraft 1. At least they gave you a nice amount of shit. Pan of space, that would be Chimera. Mothership fighter facility complete. Ooh, fighter nice. facility subsystem complete. Engineering is online. Stop taking my ability Production to freaking. Underway. Jesus, I hate games that are Mothership. too important for themselves. It's a tutorial. Rest easy. I'm not gonna jump out the window with the mouse wrapped around my neck. I'm not that much of a dumbass. Interceptor Squadron complete. Stand by to begin combat trials. Perimeter Station Chimera. Good for them. When it's a story beat, we'll kill Hmm. Alright. For some reason I can't build more than um, interceptors. Oh well. Standing by. Interceptor squadron complete. Ready. You guys need Strike to group to battle positions. Actually see. Eh, they're still frying pans really. They didn't really do much dead, much detail work on these guys. And again, homeworld type of sensors are always pieces of fucking ugly ass shit. Do I sound unhappy to be playing the game? Mm, I am quite a wee bit, because I do, do remember... Confirmed. Strike group to battle positions. What could have been. Interceptor squadron complete. And what Ready. turned out to be. Strike group prepare for assault. Not because of the developers, really. That's all of them. What now Ready become, for orders. Roger. Became um, Blackbird Interactive. 
Attention Tannis Control. This is Perimeter Station Chimera. We have multiple unidentified units detected. Signal indicates bigger bomber strike course. This is a scramble alert. All pilots to their stations. Chimera Base, this is Blue Leader. Enemy units locked in, awaiting orders. We're building the most important ship in the galaxy. Regatta, at least. We only sent, we only have one interceptor squad. Tannis is under attack. All forces to combat alert. This is not a test. Interceptors have been launched from Chimera. The enemy must be eliminated. Order all interceptors to destroy the Vega bombers. At ease. Defensive perimeter set. Show no mercy. That's great to say. The developers aren't going to blame for the ships going this way. Group 1 copies because they try to do their best those four scripts being an example of it but Sierra just fell by school the pooch by rushing it on another 6 to 12 months and this would have been a completely one, different victory. game group 1 possibly even had strike group attack Chimera's station is offline they didn't even get hit by the way the Vega have breached the Tannis perimeter the mothership is yeah, yeah. Come on. Group one standing by. Production underway. The mothership is taking light enemy fire. Group one reporting. Light fire confirmed. Strike group moving into position. Pursuing targets. Group 1 reports enemy contact. Production underway. Priority group alert. Reporting. Strike group attack orders confirmed. using hyperspace gates. Group 2 reporting. If they are not destroyed, the enemy will deploy reinforcements through them. Something they won't really do in the next game. In the next step. Next mission, which will be next step. Strike group attack order confirmed. Group one copy. Strike group, prepare for assault. Strike group, prepare for assault. Group two standing by. Resource collector complete. Supporting friendly units. Mothership. Group two copies. Gate destroyed. Destroy all the remaining hyperspace gates. Confirmed. And no, they don't get veteran C. Copy. Group one standing by. Stop shooting. 
looking at the allies, please. These are all some of the more cute ships, at least in my view. Possibly because they're vaguely, vaguely reminiscent of Titani ships. Resource collector awaiting orders. Long range sensors have detected multiple enemy signals converging on Tannis. All ships initiate docking procedures and stand by for hyperspace. Or translation for the people in the back. Run, bitch, run! Oh, yeah, and another thing this game has going against it. The Faker have a lot. Bitch, they were here before. The main Faker. Please, <laughs> One destroyer, two destroyers, two frigates, two battle cruisers, another destroyer over there, another destroyer over there, Emergency three battle cruisers. So picking up about must eight destroyers and three to four battle cruisers. Again, why would they not spare an adequate fleet for this? Why is it one? Tannis base has been destroyed. The Vega have launched a massive invasion. The Garan outposts are falling all across the inner rim. The crew of the mothership is making an emergency departure planetary defense systems are standing by. Before we can mount a counterattack, we must rendezvous with the mothership's crew. We will exit hyperspace in the shadow of the Angel Moon. A rally point has been established at this location. Prepare for enemy contact. Now this doesn't make much sense to anybody who really knows the lore. But has a decent grasp of logic. As I was saying, there should have been more things defending that. The mothership is on its way. Mothership. We're going to make it. Bishop 1 to all transports. Report status. Bishop 2, standing by. This is Bishop 3. We've taken some hits. Two all heads down. We'll be alright. Bishop 4, standing by. Bishop 5, standing by. Bishop 6, reporting unidentified contacts. Get ready for company. For anyone not paying attention, two bulkheads would mean two sections of the ship are compromised. That isn't a small thing, depending on how it's portioned off. I'll try and do this mission too in this episode, but we are gonna call it at 30-ish. Let's see here. Hyperspace jump successful. Oh, the core is operating at full capacity. We made it. We have reached the Hagaran system. Vega forces are being reported in all sectors. They will know we have arrived. Six crew transports are inbound to dock with the mothership. A Vega carrier has been detected in the area. The transports are under attack and require immediate assistance. At least four transports must dock with the mothership to meet minimum crew requirements. Strike group to battle positions. Group two. Strike group prepare for assault. We got Ready. two. Ideally I'd want another couple. Production underway. Where the hell is the resource counter though? Ah, up there. Group 1, standing by. Group 2, copies. Strike group coordinates locked in. Standing by. Strike group, prepare for assault. Standing by. Strike group to battle positions. Confirmed. Resource collector complete. Mothership. Group 3 reinforced. Collection confirmed. Group 3 Threat reported. eliminated. 
Collection Transport confirmed. Bishop 1 is safe. Mothership. The Vega carrier is launching reinforcements. Use bombers to destroy the carrier's fighter facility. This will prevent it from sending further reinforcements. Group 2 reporting. Acknowledged. Engine systems running at minimal capacity. Engine performance at 20%. Strike group reports hostile contact. Confirmed. Strike group to battle positions. Group 2 standing by. Subsystem target acquired. Group 1 reports victory. Group 1 reports enemy contact. Under fire, requesting orders. I'm taking hits here. Ready. Strike group to battle positions. Copy. Strike group under enemy attack. Standing by. Vega fighter facility destroyed. The carrier can no longer build reinforcements. Strike group reports hostile contact. Drawing heavy fire. Group one has defeated the enemy. Ready. Strike group attack order confirmed. Standing by. Ready. Strike group attack order confirmed. Group one standing by. Threat eliminated. Transport Bishop five is safe. Docking with mother. Crew transport docked. Subsystem and engineering personnel transferring. The mothership now has additional construction capabilities. Corvette facility available for construction. Ready. You can build it. Group three reinforced. And it's uh, Threat eliminated. Confirmed. Transport Bishop three is safe. Acknowledged. Strike group, prepare for assault. Confirmed. Hyperspace signature detected. The Vega are using frigates to attack the transports. Some appear to be equipped with heavy anti-fighter weaponry. Ready. Docking with mothership. Copy. Production underway. Strike group reports hostile contact. Roger. Acknowledged. Receiving transmission from Hagarin Defense Grid. Allied forces are arriving. Corvette subsystem complete. Gunship corvettes now available for construction. These ships are effective when used against fighter class vessels. Ready. Incoming support fleet. One of the other good things about this game. Pride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani. Pick your targets and engage. The Sobani are notorious mercenaries. But when it comes to fighting for their homeworld, I think they're a wee bit on our side. With the help of Captain Soban, we should be able to save the rest of the transports. Roger. Group 1, jockeying with Mothership. The Vega carrier is retreating. It must be destroyed before it can escape. Okay. Attacking capital ship. Standing by. Bomber squadron complete. Engage. Threat eliminated. Acknowledged. Transport Bishop 2 is safe. Engage capital ship. Bobby. Threat eliminated. Transport Bishop 4 is safe. Group 2 copies. Ready. Group 2 reinforced. Attacking capital ship. Group 1. Reporting. Under fire. Pulsar gunships now available for construction. 
These ships are effective when used against Corvette class vessels. They also be decent to work against cannons. They're not iron cannons, but they're still good. Group two copies. Docking with mothership. Group one, standing by. Docking with mothership. Ready. Group one, confirmed. The Vega carrier one, has been destroyed. Group two, standing by. Group two copies. Group two, reporting. They're not listening. Gunship squadron complete. Docking signal green. The Vega frigates have been destroyed. Fleet, this is Captain Soban. The homeworld system will soon be overrun by Vega forces. Their objective is to capture the mothership. You must get the pride of Higara out of here. The enemy will follow, and in doing so, you will buy the homeworld some time. Soban, out. Captain Soban's mission will be to track down the location of the Vega leader. His fleet has been dispatched. He Remain in contact with us. You gotta be careful not to misclick outside the window. Group one copies. Ready. Group one, reinforced. Group two, standing by. Standing by. Group three, copies. Group one, standing by. Strike group moving into position. Group two, reporting. Strike group coordinates locked in. Ripped for their pleasure. Pulsar gunship squadron complete. Group one reporting. Roger. Group one reinforced. Strike group moving into position. Group two standing by. Strike group coordinates locked in. Confirmed. Something tells me you guys have more than just one blown bulkhead now. Just an idea though. Local resources exhausted, fleet. Moving on. Mothership. Yeah, they're not as high tech as they used to be. Let's see, can I actually speed things up a little bit? One reporting. Nope, just I accidentally acknowledged off of those guys. Group three assigned. Acknowledged. Group two designated. Group two. Group three. Any way to speed things up? Group one copies. At least none that I know of. Everything remaining of the episode, that's it. But hey, at least we have resources. Ish. Copy. Now, there was a mod, if I remember correctly, it was complex back in the day, which would, ta would take these holes 
and the ships themselves. When I say hulls, I mean ships. And convert them over to armed, I believe, merchantmen. They're complete ass versus a Valcruiser, but they were still freaking dangerous. And unless they got swarmed by destroyers, they would be able to put out a lot of fucking damage. Not too much against bombers, which are again the classic strike craft level fuck you to capital ships, but still decent amount of force projection. Why do I mention this? I kinda wish the uh, stock game had that. Hopefully Homeworld 3 has some ability to retrofit ships or they can out with them at least a wee bit. Or has sufficient enough modding capabilities and tools to allow us to do that on our own. Ah yes, the um, Prometheus school of docking with things, because I'm pretty sure that's... Attention the... fleet, we have too many collectors here, expect delays. Freaking close for a plasma thruster. Granted, at least it's trying to be. Mothership. Course deleted. More realistic by pulsing it, but still, you're basically you. pointing a plasma time. torch towards your flagship. Not exactly a smart thing to do. Mothership. Crew transport docked. Research staff and science teams transferring. New research options available. Do the wall. There's nothing left out here. Really now. Somehow I'm doubtful of that. Upgrade complete. Really now? You guys don't have anything Resources else? Resources locked in. Go get that, you bastards. Group 1 reporting. Group 3 reporting. Yes. Upgrade complete. Really big chunk of shit. Upgrade complete. I do like the scarring. It's a nice way of showing this thing's been through some shit. Roger. Not particularly Copy. much shit. Standing by. <laughs> like this guy. He somehow doesn't have scarring, but bursting into flames in some sections. Insufficient resources. Upgrades paused. We're gonna need those upgrades. It's not a stupid thing to do. Once we get around to mission 6 or 7, I think, we're going to be fucking this to take the nap. Copy. Some, uh, how should I put this? Crew transport docked. Sensor crews transferring. Mothership sensor systems are now operating at full capacity. Roger. Big pieces, small pieces, every piece. That guy just <laughs> took the big chunk. Mothership. We all have that one friend who takes the bigger piece of pizza. Yeah, I'm over 30 well, by quite a wee bit, but may as well. These missions are gonna be a bit of a combo pack. The later ones are a bit of annoyance though, like Gehenna. Uh, Upgrade Kalos. complete. Yeah, we go back to Kalos.
Insufficient resources. Upgrades paused. Come on, you slow bastard. Group 1 standing by. Assuming guard position. Group 2 copies. Guard order confirmed. Reporting. These guys are like the look of the most to the front to do some work. There's a joke I'm gonna, I could make here. I am actually gonna make it, but kids have rear ears. You don't need to have one. So basically, face ain't too pretty, but at least the rack's nice. Insufficient resources. Upgrades paused. This is gonna give something very fun. Actually, two of these are gonna give something very fun. But we'll see if they even last the next mission. Because, like all rewards for doing a good job, they tend to be. How should I put this? Well, I'm making a gesture right now for the adults. You guys will get what I mean. Crew transport docked. Engine and power plant crews transferring. Engine performance increased to normal levels. Four crew transports docked. We have met minimum crew requirements. Are you gonna speed it up and let me go without having to wait for the other couple? Of course not, that would be smart game design. They were rushed, they didn't have time to be smart. I'm gonna defend Blackbird a wee bit here. Or who, who would become Blackbird later. I do hope they nab some of the people who, are, who worked on uh, Cataclysm. Insufficient resources. Upgrades. It's a really good storyline and atmosphere. Not saying the guys at Blackbird can't do good with this atmospherics. But getting horror in space is kinda hard. Nothing but gravel out here. Upgrade complete. Wonder There's nothing left out here. Be. Crew transport docked. Elite fighter pilots transferring. Elite bomber squadrons launching from mothership. There's nothing left out here. Acknowledged. Group two reinforced. Ready. Group two, roger. Group two reinforced. Roger. Group one, standing okay, by. Okay, so... Ready. They hit to the point of seven, eight, nine. Group two 1, copies. 000. Reporting. Group 2. Holy fuck, they hit twice as hard as they should. Resource collector awaiting orders. Roger. Nothing but gravel out here. Resources downrange. Resources downrange. And we're going. Group 1. We're going. Group 1 reporting. The one thing I don't get in this game, at this point, in this mission... Why are these guys still crewed? Like, they have no escorts in the middle of a... War zone. And I'm just seeing sparkly shit on Pegara. It's getting fucked. Um, so, why are they moving? Why weren't they stripped of crews, resources, pretty much everything in it? Use them in your own fleet. Because I would get if they are important here. 
as logistical stuff. But as, as you guys are gonna see in about five minutes at this rate, they don't get any crew, any escorts jumping in. And they don't have any guns ready. I just hope little things like these get addressed properly in Homeworld 3 so we don't get any <sighs> Space Jesus McMary Sue with yeah, Karen is a Mary Sue by this point. Because well, you guys will see. And the small little Olympics get worked on. There's just just a couple here and there. They're kinda the on the vibe of things, like, why is this thing looking like it's smoking? Maybe it's supposed to be venting atmosphere from somewhere? Or it could just be the shadows being a bit thick. Group 1 copies. Docking with Mothership. Group 2, standing by. Docking with Mothership. Mothership. Group 1. Group 2 standing by. Well, it didn't take 5 minutes, but yeah. Is it worth the wait? I believe so. We'll see though. It also gave us time to build shit, clear shit. Because we don't get the option to. Ah, gotcha. Remember what you have to do, basically. Crew transport docked. Elite Corvette crews transferring. Elite Corvette squadrons launching from Mothership. Confirmed. Group 1 reinforced. Twice. Flawless victory. Crew transports returning to base. We cannot allow the mothership to fall into enemy hands. Coordinate set for the Serum system. There, we will regroup our forces and mount a counteroffensive. All ships, stand by for hyperspace. Lucky suicidal bastards. Let's see the cinematic and call it. Our home. Children of Hygara, you are beaten. This sector is now under my control. Stand down and prepare for Vega occupation. I have come to claim what is mine. Return the Second Corps and I will spare your home world. 
Gagara can resist the Vega siege, but only for a limited time. The shipyard at Serum will allow us to rebuild our fleet. We must secure this asset before it falls to the Vega. Stand by for arrival at Serum. It didn't rework this cutscene properly at the end. Hyperdrive. New utility class ships available for construction. Okay. Gonna call it here now, ladies and gentlemen. Catch you guys and gals next time. And for me to see if my freaking voice is audible over the audio, because I don't know. The audio mixing is a wee bit funky. Thank you for watching, or more precisely, surviving up until this point, because guys know the editing's kind of interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.